There's the raccoon right there. Hey, raccoon. You right there? Hmm? You look okay, don't you? You don't look like you're in as much pain. He eat that whole, there's a whole, I put a bowl of food, that whole, he eat a whole bowl of food. He spilled some of it a little bit, he eat a whole bowl and he drank that whole bowl of water. I gotta put more water in that bowl. He drank that whole bowl of water and he's eat a whole bowl of food. He's been laying all around up under my boat right here since yesterday and it's about two o'clock in the morning right now. Raccoon, I'm trying to find help. I've now called probably 15 different people there and trying to get information on what to do and they just say, you know, there's nothing they can do and some people they say, well, if he's a young raccoon, we can take him. Well, he is young. He's about a year, less than a year old. But then they say, no, we can't take him. There's always an excuse. But I don't, I'm trying, I don't know what else to do. And I'm, like I told that woman yesterday, I was talking to at the Department of Natural Resources there, I told her I would take the raccoon 100 miles, <clears throat> you know, from my house if I had to drive that you know, I don't want to drive no more than a hundred miles one way, but I don't want to spend two or three days driving, but I would drive a half a day, you know, a hundred miles and taking a few hours and but the DNR the Department of Resources, uh, Natural Resources talking about give me a uh, telephone number address in Florida <clears throat> well I can't take a raccoon to Florida because you can't take raccoons across the state line but he's resting good he's he looks a lot better he's he's been moving his tail around a whole lot there and he, he's, he's he's doing better I still need to get him to the doctor to doctor up that um, wound. If I get him to turn over, when he turns over, I might get some peroxide and put some peroxide on him if I can do it myself. <laughs> that raccoon, you ain't gonna put no peroxide on that raccoon. <laughs> that raccoon ain't gonna let you put no peroxide on him. I would pour some on him though. That wouldn't hurt him too much. Okay, I'm going to stop this video. My back is killing me. I can't stand up. It's been raining most of the night. Tomorrow I got to clean this place out because he takes the crap in here. I got to rake it out. He done crapped in here one time. I had to rake it out. I had to pull it all out. Oh, and my back is killing me. Stop this video. Stop it.